As an Apple fanboy, the iPhone 15 is kind of boring. Thankfully, I found some of the best accessories to make it a little more exciting. So let's check it out. So everyone and their uncles are saying the iPhone 15 is a fragile bird. And well, it doesn't have to be. Thanks to Casetify, who sent out this giant PR box, which makes sense. Their new Ultra Bounce case can handle drops up to 32.8 feet high, plus 10 times the military grade standard they used to test, which for context, 32.8 feet is the same as if four Yao Mings were stacked on top of each other, or just one giant T-Rex. And they achieved that with this, their very own EcoShock material that absorbs the impact so your iPhone doesn't have have to, unlike what other cases do. I've got my custom design here because it's cute AF, but the new Ultra Bounce cases have shoulder pads your grandma's suit jackets would be jealous of. As a case though, the buttons are covered and clicky, especially the action button. Satisfying. I know. And they've completely covered up the camera too, because you can't call something ultra and not go completely ham on protection. A thick lip around front for the butterfingers out there, combined with the additional EcoShock material on the inside, it ensures your iPhone will probably survive this. But just to make sure, they also have screen protectors that come with a tool to align itself. So no more guessing and stressing, trying to clean off every piece of dust, simply pull and wha-bam perfectly aligned. So while this isn't for Yao Ming's high, it still is raw concrete floor. And don't worry, I tested it face first too. It definitely sounds worse than it is, but with only a few scuffs around the corners, the phone itself survived without a scratch, thanks to what is basically 360 degrees of protection. However, if you don't even want to risk that, you can also pick up their lanyard, which they went overboard on designing, and I'm totally here for it. Plus, if you just don't suck at holding things that much, their regular bounce case and impact series are much slimmer in profile while still offering excellent day-to-day -day protection too. And obviously in a huge selection of designs to choose from. Plus, you can save 15% by visiting casetopie.com slash accessorize me. Details and links down below. This is not what you think it is, although it would be nice to have a new friend. But this Ugreen Nexode RG 65 watt charge is hands down the cutest iPhone charger we've ever tested. However, it's really meant to be used here in an actual outlet because it offers two USB-C ports plus a regular USB-A port too, which basically means you can charge your iPhone 15, MacBook, and tablet all at the same time. So you'll be able to charge your iPhone 15 from zero to 60% in just 30 minutes or go its max speed, powering a MacBook Air up to 70% within an hour. All this from a tiny, cute, and weirdly friendly charger too, as the built-in screen does share charging statuses, but in facial expressions. Not the most useful, but definitely the coolest way we've seen it done. Having it plugged in at your desk is kind of like knowing you've always got a friend nearby. However, you can pop on its Nike kicks, and thanks to the compact design, this easily slides into any tech pouch or bag, saving you the need to bring multiple chargers or even bulkier ones too. Overall, it's just a fast charger that they put inside a very cute case. And you can even take it one step further with its little brother. Offering 30 watts of charge with a single USB-C output, it's about three quarters the size and perfect if you only need to charge one device at a time. So links and details down below. The new natural titanium look is super clean, a little utilitarian, but kind of boring too. Thankfully, we've got dbrand skins to fix that. Whether you want something really shiny and out there or something a little more subtle that has a pop when you angle it in the right light. They've measured it precisely to fit the iPhone 15 box. However, they make it so easy to install that I do trust even you, yes you, can do it. Once installed though, they stay installed. Passing my scientific rub test, I can speak from experience that the edges haven't lifted even after having to suffer through my skinny jeans phase. They've got plenty of colors, textures, and some fairly stylish ones too that will definitely help your iPhone stand out. Or you can keep it subtle and vibing with this one if you're not interested in being the center of attention. Obviously, this isn't going to protect you from drops, but it does offer some great scratch resistance from your long nails and only makes it feel better in the hand by not adding any bulk. Plus, you're no longer afraid of actually using or tossing it onto a table, 
and this will probably last for as long as you own your phone. However, you'll probably get bored and want to switch it up. And thanks to Dbrand using premium 3M vinyl, removing it leaves your phone looking brand spanking new. So if I did have to pick one, their full grain leather skins are hard to beat because it'll only get better with time the more you actually use it. This Anchor 3-in-1 charging cube stands out not only for its shape, but how it transforms like Optimus Prime into a full-fledged docking station for all your gear. Phone, watch, and even AirPods behind all of that. Surprising given this starts out even smaller than a Rubik's Cube, but in the hand, it feels like a chunker. Made of plastic on the outside with some metal accents, it feels like you're lifting a heavy rock, but in a durable premium kind of way. The rubber feet keeps it in place, and even with all the moving components, it doesn't feel like anything is too loosey-goosey. The main charger is the MagSafe ring on top though, and while it can be used alone and still look like it belongs, the real magic is when you spread its wings, as they've put in a fast charger in every component, so you can easily take this traveling with you and not have to deal with carrying multiple cords that you're probably gonna forget and leave behind. Now, if you do tend to lose everything you touch, specifically the most important piece of gear you carry, your wallet. The Eufy Smart Track card is what Apple should have made, and it costs half of what Apple charges for theirs too. Plus, it can do this playing the Uno reverse card and finding your iPhone as well. It's made of plastic, but in a nice matte black finish, and it's built like a fancy business card at about the size of a regular credit card and the thickness of two combined as well. All that to say, I'm not concerned about the build quality whatsoever, and unlike Apple's tracker that requires your wallet to bulge out, given this is basically a high-tech credit card, you can easily slip this into your wallet and it actually looks like it belongs which is where it really shines. Like in case you forget where you left it, your iPhone can trigger it straight from the official Find My app and even offer directions straight to it as well, like the real deal. So you'll never have to panic if you lose your wallet or your phone ever again. Unless you lose both at the same time, then you're SOL. Now you should always read a yellow sticker warning because this one offers great life advice in general, physically and emotionally. And while this Atum Tech selfie stick tripod looks a little sus, as it's built with this sturdy plastic frame, offering a textured handle for a pleasurable experience, a removable camera controller, and a quick release button, it's surprisingly useful, as it can be one of the sturdiest desk tripods for your iPhone, great for Zoom calls, vlogging, or just watching a show, then when combined with the wireless remote, you can take some close-ups for all your fans, but at its max, unlike others who lie about their height, I'm 5'11", and this reaches my chin for the perfect TikTok dancing angle. That's all thanks to its 10-inch wide sturdy base. It wobbles if you play with it too much, but it can hold its ground for the most part, with the best feature being, when you're done, whoop bam Storing down to about three fists long, a much more convenient length to easily slip into your water bottle pocket, and even small enough to store in your front pocket so you can easily whip it out and impress everyone around you with your long and sturdy tripod. Now I hate carrying cables. They're messy, break easily, and just take up too much space. Thankfully, we barely need them nowadays, but when we do, having the Nomad charge key sitting on my keychain or hanging from my bag is more than enough as a backup, whether for charging or uploading that essay with two minutes left. It's tiny, built stronger than you are, and uses magnets to stay organized. What else can you ask for? We picked up one of Anchor's new battery releases, and I think it's genius, not only for how tiny it is, but the fact you don't need to untangle any cables or get a hand cramp trying to wrap your hand around a thick battery around back. Plus, the built-in plug actually folds away too. Giving it a Snickers bar shape and feel when stored away, you get a nice textured finish, rounded edges that feel good in the hand, and a solid construction that won't feel like will fall apart anytime soon. Now, it is only 5,000 milliamps, enough for about a single full charge, but you're getting a physically tiny battery. For being under $30, it's kind of foolish not to have one in your bag, just in case. So, iPhone 15 or iPhone 3. If you know, you know. Anyways, that's it. I rest my retro tech.